Man, so many amazing shows got terrible endings recently. I am sure if they were given 50 more chapters to properly end all the plot threads, they would remain masterpieces even in their final chapter, which is the only part that had issues. You probably have heard this more than once, and it's just more mental gymnastics. Nothing becomes bad just because it ended. All of these shows were bad way before that, and the fanboys were not making a big fuss about them because they were getting their weekly dopamine fix. A bad ending can only bring out the frustration they were keeping hidden because they will not be getting any more dopamine. It is not magically making them see the faults, it only makes them unable to ignore the problems any further. Because there is not gonna be another chapter where they can once again say the issues will magically be fixed next week. When a plot derails badly, the only way it can be fixed is by going back in a story that is not published yet and editing the details so it can make sense based on the current events. Weekly chapters don't have this luxury. A plot hole will remain a plot hole forever if it's not corrected within the week it is made. You can make retcons, but that's a patch, you can still see the plot hole. That is why the problems pile up in any ongoing story, no matter how structured it seems to be at first, and eventually falls apart and can't be fixed. A bad ending doesn't mean it was not giving any more room to fix the plot holes. It means the plot holes will not become even bigger by continuing to build plot threads upon them without ever being able to fix them. This is why I say nothing ever gets better. You can't fix plot problems once something is officially out. You can only do that during the writing, which is a luxury weekly chapter writers don't have. Therefore, nothing ends badly. It was bad way before it ended and the fanboys didn't want to admit it.